The first step to getting the Zelda Ocarina of Time randomizer working, is to download a ROM file of The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. For legal reasons, I can't post a direct link. You would have to go to google.com and type in the search bar Zelda Ocarina of Time ROM. Then download it. Once downloaded, you'll get a file that ends with a .zip. Right click it. If you're on Windows, click Extract All. In the window that pops up, just click Extract. And you'll get something like this. If you're running Linux, right click on Zip File, and click on Extract here. Now you'll have a file that ends in a .n64. Next, you are going to go to the Ocarina of Time Randomizer website. The link is in the description. From the main page, click on Generator. Wait for the site to load. From this page, click on Main Rules. From here, you can change things like, if you want to leave the forest area before beating the deco tree. If you want the door of time to be open. If you need all the medallions to enter Ganon's castle. How many trials Ganon's castle has. If you start the game as an adult. And where certain items are placed. With me, I like to start the game with the map and compass. That way, I know where the treasures are, and if I already opened them. I also like to have my keys scattered throughout the land. It adds a little backtracking, but is also a lot of fun. This is just my opinion, you can configure your ROM as you like. Once you are done with your selection, click on the detailed logic tab. Here you can set whether some sculptures appear at night only, or around the clock. Here you can choose to remove some of the side quests, within the game. For me, personally, I have removed only the time-consuming ones. Like the shooting gallery, fishing, and horseback archery. If you, yourself wish to remove certain objectives, all you have to do is click it. And click the add button on the corner. On the right hand side is a glitch list. I don't recommend touching this. Unless you know what you're doing. Once done, click on the other tab. Here, you can continue to customize your Zelda experience, by removing some cutscenes, to make the game play flow faster. Or by increasing the amount of rupees you can hold, or how many rupees you start with. Go down the list, one by one, and edit it as you see fit. In the Cosmetics tab, you can change the color of almost anything. And in the last tab, the SFX tab. Here you can randomize the music in the game. When you're all finished making your choices, scroll down to the bottom, and click on Generate Seed. From here, just wait a little until everything loads. Once you get to this page, just scroll down. Here, click on Browse and look for the Ocarina of Time ROM. The one with the N64 extension. And select it. Now click Patch ROM. And wait while it runs. When you get this pop up. Make sure you save the file. This next step is advised, but not mandatory. To beat the Ocarina randomizer can be very tough. To save yourself some time, you can scroll up to the top. Here you'll find an address. You can copy the address by clicking on the copy to clipboard button. And I would recommend saving it to your computer. That way, if you ever get stuck in the game, you can always go to this web address and click on the spoiler log. This will give you the location of all the items in the game. Making them a little easier to find. Our last step is to download the Nintendo 64 emulator. You can go to this site. The link is in the description below. Once downloaded, double click it. Then click on run. Click on next. Click on next, once again. Click next. Now click finished. Select your language and click OK. The Nintendo 64 emulator should launch now. Click file, then click on open ROM. This is very important, select the file that starts with OOTR. And not the Zelda Ocarina of Time ROM file. If you are running Linux, you are going to look for the software center. Click the search button, on the top right hand side. Then type this exact word into the search bar. Install it, and launch it. Before you begin to use it, you will have to make one minor adjustment to the configuration. In the program, click on settings, then click on configure. Then click on the plugins tab. In the video plugin section, choose this option. Then click OK. In the main page, click file, click open ROM, and choose the file that starts with OOTR. And not the Zelda Ocarina of Time ROM file. Enjoy.